Ancient Greek. It has 24 letters. I'll abbreviate there. And they called those letters Grammata. Grammata. They had capitals, and the capitals were the original characters. These were the original characters. Lowercase letters were developed. Lower case. And they were used in the printed text. They were used for printed text. However, capitals, we'll just write caps, are still used for proper nouns. And for the beginnings of paragraphs. Beginnings of paragraphs. Yeah, get some more fighting room. And let me put the words there and our over here to make this clearer and easier. There, period. End of a sentence, period. Oops, I spelled that with an A. That was good. There, period. <laughs> it still looks like an A. <laughs> okay, it looks more like an O. Their period equals our comma. Now, if put a dot there, if they have a raised period, raised period, that's equal to something else. That's equal to our semicolon. And their semicolon. is equal to our question mark. Their semicolon is equal to our question mark. Wow. So in review again, ancient Greek has 24 letters called grammata. Capitals were the original. Then they had lowercase, they developed lowercase characters, and that was used for printed text Capitals were used for proper nouns in the beginnings of paragraphs. Their period equals our comma. Their raised period equals our semicolon. And their semicolon equals our question mark. And this is George Bull thanking you for listening. And wishing you well. Bye-bye now.